My name is Janine Gibbons and I am an artist for the Alaska Heritage Institute and today I am going to show you my studio. Um, I'm actually headed to Alaska tomorrow to go back home to my other studio but I have been here for many months and created um, Learning to Carve Argelite by Sarah Davidson and Robert Davidson. I illustrated that while I was here and so I will show you um, my studio and what I'm working on and what I'm packing and so follow me and right now we've got the videographer is actually this is her land and this is her place so I just rent and love this type of life as well so on the ground floor of this beautiful abode uh, we have a yoga studio and we often have people here uh, doing yoga, tai chi. What are some of the other things we do, Linda? Um, we did trance dance. Okay. That was awesome. We do a lot of dancing, and obviously, as you can see, we got lots of mats, which are great for stretching. All sorts of stuff. Linda got most of this stuff with the dump yep. the store, the dump here in Hawaii. So, on the big island, so I'm, everything, almost everything, is uh, secondhand. So, and because we're here in Hawaii. Uh, we don't need insulation, so we don't have, it's just a random thing on what you can do with a, cool, a shed space. And thank you for the curtains, Janine. Add such a lovely ambiance. <laughs> and these are my curtains. I'm a big fan of creating a separate space, and so I often have lots of curtains. <laughs> so, ah, so, come <laughs> with me, and I will head up I've been working on a lot of projects. Yeah, come with me. We've got this, uh, lots of dogs. This is also lots of dogs here on the property. They provide a tremendous amount of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> so here on the main floor, um, I have, uh, as throughout the whole um, place that I live, um, uh, I've got it rigged for hanging um, hammocks everywhere. So I love to be in hammocks. So. I use a lot of hammocks. We've got a lot of hammocks. I also like to also strategically place mirrors uh, so that it seems like that this is outside too, even though it's against a wall. Um, I just thought I would add that in because my my time as a visual um, designer, I used to do a lot of um, windows and stuff for stores. And since I owned my own store, I also did a lot of visual merchandising. So um, I like to amplify space and I use a lot of mirrors for that. Um, also the birds really love to look at themselves so we get a lot more birds in here once I put the mirrors in certain places then we have the birds coming up and so it's a lot of fun so come this way this again more mirrors I, I cr try to create space with mirrors so this when I have the doors open it just it creates it's just like this I'm still outside and I'm getting ready to head to Alaska, like I've said a few times, so I'm packing all my stuff. And right now I've been, it's kind of funky right now, but I've been working on a tattoo for a halibut fisherman back home in Alaska. So I'll be bringing all these parts with me. Um, I like to do a lot of clip art, so, I, so I'm not stuck doing anything. So I've been kind of playing with shapes and patterns and just kind of goofing around, so one of the many projects I'm working on. I'm a big fan of um, plants. And so this was a beautiful plant I got at a farmer's market, a gardenia, and I will plant it sometime soon. But um, this is acrylic on paper, and this is an elder uh, from Cake. Um, this is from a photograph that I took um, at Celebration 2018. Um, and this is a wolf headdress. Uh, I Here's two of the books that I illustrated for the Alaska Heritage Institute. The Woman Carried Away a Killer Whale, The Woman Who Married the Bear. Oops. Two books. And now I am currently um, illustrating a book on um, salmon fishing on the Yaquan River. So this is a really beautiful, this is actually one of my favorite books because I love the illustrations inside and all the history. This um, Hillary Stewart is just a phenomenal um, 
sketch artist and so I also just I can really appreciate just all the work that she put into getting all this knowledge and boy I'm thankful so um beautiful book Indian fishing um let's see uh here is a um a logo that I just did for my friend Roma. Um, she is going to be uh, growing or having exotic plants. And so um, I made her this logo and my one of my best girlfriends actually colored it in for me with colored pencil. So the colored pencils are useful. Um, sometimes I talk about that in a bit. And, um, but this is acrylic or acrylic paints, ink and colored pencils. And here, oh, here's a little pair of my earrings. Here's my new logo. Nice. And those are shark gills, because shark or dogfish is one of my clan crests. Here's some of my jewelry tools that I have for stamping. Do a lot of stamping, so I'll be bringing all this stuff back to Alaska. I use a projector quite a bit, so I really highly recommend this insignia. I do have a super fancy projector, but I actually have used this for years and I love it. And it's small and compact and I can get a lot of work done with this projector. So um, over here is where I do a lot of sketching. And so I've sketched out quite a few books and I can share, I can share this book. This is an uh, illustration that I didn't actually use, but this is uh, from Learning to Carve Art to Write. That is coming out fall, this fall, uh, January, or in September. So I'm very excited. I got two more books coming out this September. More art. I don't actually sleep down here now. So this is just where, I, where I'm creating art. You can come this way. We got a bunch of dogs in here that are also part of the show. <laughs> Um, it's very nice. We have a toilet on this 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 main floor. Um, here, when we live communally, uh, there is a communal bathroom that's out there, and I'm very fortunate to have my own toilet. So yes, she. Is. <laughs> um, and usually, I do have the cook the cooktop uh, set up, but I just ran out of propane, so. Um, I usually make my coffee here in the mornings and make tea mm. and um, sort of brush my teeth and do all my stuff. And so you can kind of see, I love turmeric. Everybody knows I love turmeric. So this is some of the fun stuff that I drink. Uh, not only do we grow it here on the property, but I also drink the tea as well and drink it all day long. I drink turmeric juice with honey and ginger and lemons. So I do that a lot. And... This is also something I drink quite a bit. I don't usually drink this stuff that's fancy like this, but I got this noni juice. Uh, it's great for curing all sorts of stuff. And so, here we go. This is, this is uh, another place that I like to hang out, out here on the side porch. Good boy, Koa. Koa. What a good boy. And yeah, I spend, I've spent a lot of hours um, Hanging out here, here's another for a uh, sit in the hammock. Literally hanging out. <laughs> I think hammocks are a good thing for people to have. I feel like they should be in schools because <laughs> you just instantly chill out. So yeah, so I like to create space. Uh, I put up these uh, bamboo, these are bamboo or what is this? I think so. Yeah, these little it's bamboo kind of curtain. shades that creates nice uh, space, lets the air through. It gets really rainy here, just like, just as rainy here as it is in Ketchikan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and when it rains, it pours and it is torrential. And so this is a nice break from when it, the rain is just, just throwing down. So, yeah. So next up, we will head upstairs. I'm going to show you these, whoops, excuse me, doggies. I'm going to show you, <laughs> we'll go upstairs, and this beautiful stairs right in the middle uh, makes it so, yeah, you can have all these just living in a cube, basically, each level, so. This is where I now sleep, 
and I do create up here too. So every place is utilized in these small spaces. I love this. This is we got the shelving. This is actually the Linda's library back here, but I've got these kind of nice curtain things. But there's literally every book. I'm I'm not gonna embarrass Linda. <laughs> But we do have, if anybody really... Woods Woman was a good book. Any, Ooh, The Time Traveler's Wife. If anybody really <laughs> is still thinking about getting in shape, I can bring this book back to you. I don't know how that book got here. Only $7.99. Oh. Some of the great things that she says, let's see. I don't know. Anyway, we have this book if you're looking for it. It's kind of hard to find this <laughs> Um, so this is cool though. Look at this is like we're, like we're right on a boat. <laughs> oh, you've really perfected that, that too. Fun? Nice. And I've put all these uh, giant hooks everywhere, so um, <gasps> so that you can move uh, the hammock around to like all these different crazy positions. <sighs> so it makes a great chair. But then also you can move. The Voila! Nice. Hammock. Oh. So I spent a lot of time over here, actually, but I also equally love it as a ham as a chair too. Yeah. So I think I think I'm on to something. You but, yeah, are. I've put these hooks all over the place. Where'd you get the little sheep? Oh, there's my little sheep. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, the lamb. So cute. <laughs> so try to make it cozy. Um, so there's a back porch up here too. We don't really hang out much here. Yeah, it needs a pressure wash. Yeah, it needs a pressure wash. But here's the the backyard. The birds. Oh, yeah, that's what we could be. Yeah, look at that. And the birds. Oh, that's a giant moth. Yep, or... that's one of those moths. The, oh, that's a moth. It's oh, one okay. of those, whatchamacallit moths. It oh. has several different names. Wow, cool. Yeah, we must Dang have disturbed it. They hang out under these. Mm. And come, she says. So, anyway, here we keep going. This is uh, where I have, uh, I've been having conference calls right here. Mm -hmm. But I just put the Alaska map there. Uh, this is this fun little turnabout thing that Lily and Linda got for me at... Free. For free somewhere. At our little free... Yeah, set up so, at Hawaiian Acres Community Association. Nice. So I'm using that, and oh my goodness, this is the book that just came out. Nangyata Skana Lana A Istihan. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, that's coming out, or that just came out. Um, I think on Wednesday. I don't know. Just happens. But is that your sewing machine? Oh, we've got small hand sewing machines. Oh, it machine. really is a sewing machine. Yeah, this is Lily's. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily, my daughter, was here, and she was making a lot of clothing up here. This was my kids' room. I just came up since they went back uh, back with their dad for a while. So, But Lily is the avid fashion designer. She, yes, she, she is. She turns 11 in a few days, and this was her hand sewing machine. And here's some of my paints that I use. Um, usually when I'm working, I'm sitting on the ground, so I uh, picked all this up. I use a lot of, I'm a big paint pen user, but lately I've been doing a lot more just with the paint and very last moment doing um, paint pens. Lots of colored pencils. I actually don't really use colored pencils, but for some reason I always end up buying more. <laughs> so I have like so many colored pencils that I don't actually use. Um, Oh, I got some beads. As you can see, I'm not particularly organized, but next week I will do another video and you guys will see my studio back in Alaska uh, when I'm enameling next week. And then we have the top of, of the house, the birdhouse. And so this is another, I got hammocks everywhere. This is another place where I like to just meditate. You know, it's like, just listen to the birds and watch the geckos and it's bliss. It's bliss. And so, what else do we have? From here, we can look down and see some of the property. And there's a mural right down there. Yeah. That I did. Let's see. Oh, nice. There we go. 
right down there. So that's a mural that I did a couple of Christmases ago. Yeah. Um, of the sunshine. So we love her. Anyway, this is where I live um, for part of the year uh, here in Hawaiian Acres in Hawaii uh, at my friend Linda's house, the videographer right now. So uh, <laughs> I've been coming back here for quite a few years um, now. Um, and we do a lot with bees. Linda was working with her bees today. Uh, a lot of ginger and turmeric and um, really just being healthy and living life and staying um, relatively stress-free. Um, of course, we have a little bit of drama sometimes when you live on a communal farm, um, but we keep doing yoga and we keep learning and working through things. And fortunately, we're all quite healthy. So we just, um, we figure out healthy ways to work through things. So it's been a good, good, I love living communally. So it's also not so hard to remember times of past. Uh, when I'm illustrating uh, communal living, uh, it's not so hard for me to relate with it because I, I live that way. And I like living simple and from the land. So anyway, I will be, back in Alaska uh, in a couple of days and I will be doing more videos when I'm back there and showing you guys where I grew up. So anyway, aloha, mahalo.